say right back at you, uh, we actually wooed and, and hopped, and it was aerobic. <laughs> we, we were filled with joy and, and uh, cardiovascular workout. <laughs> and you know why? Because it's Memorial Day today. Happy Memorial Day. Today is known as a national day of remembrance. So in the spirit of the holiday, here are important things that you should always, always remember. I shall share with you right now. Remember that all the money in the world won't buy happiness, but it'll get you about six gallons of super unleaded. <laughs> and remember that honesty is always, always the best policy. And the second best policy is all employees must wash hands. <laughs> One more. Remember <laughs> that sometimes dreams really do come true, so don't eat pizza right before you go to bed. Those dreams are crazy. <laughs> Those are a few things to remember for this Memorial Day, and here's something that I don't think you're ever going to forget. I bring you this. My name is Robert Moraine. And, and I, I saw you on So You Think You Can Dance, and I asked you to come here today because... Where did you learn to dance like that? Um, my bedroom. Uh-huh. <laughs> just sitting around, and you just decided you could do that? Um, kind of. I, like, slowly discovered that I was flexible mm -hmm. everywhere. <laughs> and, um, kind of just, uh, practiced on it and got more and more and more flexible, and then kind of incorporated it into my into dance. dance. It's, it's fantastic. I think that it's, I've never seen anybody move like that. You can look for Robert on So You Think You Can Dance Wednesday and Thursday nights on Fox. Thank you so much, Robert. Thank you, Ellen. All right. Thank you. I shall dance later. <laughs> right after this, going into commercial, we shall dance. Um, but I wanted uh, Robert to come because when I see something like that, and I want to share it with you because that was just, you know, amazing movement, and I couldn't stop thinking of him, and I also can't stop thinking about George Michael's performance on Idol last week, that song, Praying for Time, which I thought was so amazing. And... I, I love him so much, and he's a friend, and I called him the next day, and he was so sick. He, he sounded really, really bad, so he had a cold, and he felt horrible about that night, but I thought he was amazing. And I want to remind you that he's going on tour this summer, and everyone uh, is, uh, you're, we're giving away uh, tickets to all of his concerts on uh, our website, so go there and find out if you, uh, if you want to win tickets to George Michael's uh, concert. And today, you know what today is? It's like a shiny, shiny gem, and uh, <laughs> it really is. This guy is a triple threat. He's an actor, he's a singer, he's a a dancer, he's a rapper, he's a nice, that's more, than more than a triple. This is the first time I've been able to say this in five years. Will Smith is here! I'm sure you remember her from The Bachelor, but now stay with me, she's The Bachelorette. Deanna Pappas is here. <laughs> and 
And also, you know I love reading your emails, so right now it's time for Express Yourself. <laughs> too far. <laughs> this is from Tommy Tate from uh, Salem, Oregon. Ellen, uh, you or Oprah need to help me decide which one of you to watch. Unfortunately, you're on at the same time here in Oregon at 4 o'clock every day. And the cost of batteries for my remote due to my channel surfing between you and Oprah is killing me. Please convince me that you want my viewership. Tommy, look. <laughs> I mean, Oprah's great. We all love her, but obviously, I think you should watch my show. I mean, number one, we have a DJ, and Oprah does not. And, uh, Thank you. and Thank you. today, <laughs> we have Will Smith. I mean, come on. Yeah. If you saw the show uh, that when Oprah was on my show uh, as a guest, but I think that you'll have your answer right here. Even she said it. <laughs> now, I don't understand people who don't love the Ellen Show. Oh my God, she <laughs> watches the Ellen Show every day. She said it. What more do you need? Mitzi Cowell from Reading, Connecticut says, Ellen, I was an extra in several films in the 90s. I had the most fun as an extra on one of your films, but I cannot remember the name of the movie, and it's driving me crazy. The part I was cast at was a hooker. Uh, <laughs> that's a tough question, because I did a bunch of films in the 90s, and... <laughs> Let's see, so if you played a hooker, there are a few possibilities. I was in, of course, Floozy. That was one of my first films um, right there. And then uh, Floozy 2, Floozier. Um, and then, of course, uh, Pimp with a Gold Heart was another film that I was in. I, uh, let's see, it's Hooker's Inc. that I also... And then uh, Not the Girl Next Door, She Lives Two d Houses Down. That was... Uh, so maybe one of those, if that jars your memory a little bit. And this comes from Jeremy Drover uh, from Ontario, Canada. You should sit in the other chair sometime. It would be really neat to see the show from a different perspective. I like that idea. I've never done that. Jeremy, that's a good idea, and I, I'm always willing to try new things, so I'm going to sit in this chair. I can't really see you. Oh. It is. It's totally different, because I'm not really looking that, that way. Wait a minute, has this been here? Is this what the guest sees all the time? That's wrong. <laughs> That's what the guest is looking at? <laughs> That's not right. I thought they're look I assume they're listening to me and they're just looking over my shoulder watching the Oprah show. <laughs> That's not right. Oh. All right, we're gonna change that next season. <laughs> Thanks for sending those in. Keep them coming. And uh, when we come back, uh, I, Will Smith is sitting here, and I'm sitting right there. We'll be right back. Yo, baby, you know what's up. Girl, you can call me up. Thank you. 